All right, guys. So today we have a start your week off strong strength workout. If you have them, go ahead and grab some dumbbells. This can be anything to add some weight to your workout, whether it's water bottles, soup cans, even a book bag filled with water bottles and soup cans that you can add to yourself and some of these exercises. I'm also gonna show some modification if you have long bands at home. All right, so we're going to get started in our warm up. We have a little bit of a different warm up today since there is no cardio. We're gonna start by activating some very specific muscles. So our first one, we're gonna be lying on our belly. All right, so go ahead, lie down. Face down on the floor. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pull your belly button in towards your back. And then you're gonna lift your right leg up and out to the side so that your heel is kind of making a diagonal line and you're squeezing that butt real hard, real tight. We're gonna get those glutes nice and warm. So lift that foot up towards the ceiling, up and out to the side. The reason why I want you to pull that belly button in is because I do not want this range of motion to be coming from that back, all right? So really squeeze those cheeks one more time. Good, and now switch sides. Up and out to the side with that leg. I want your face facing the floor. Keep that nose pointed straight down. You can put your forehead on those arms. I have my face turned to the side so that when I talk, you can hear me. You're gonna go up and out. Big squeeze on those glutes. Hold it up there for a couple seconds and then back down. Up and out. So we're gonna warm up those hips. Warm up those bums. Believe it or not, this muscle is our biggest muscle in our body, but it does not like to work. It likes to get real lazy on us. So I wanna warm it up and make it start working a little bit harder. All right, you're, you're gonna roll onto your side. You're gonna bring your one leg underneath you bent so that you're nice and stable. You're gonna straighten that top leg. And again, you're gonna lift it on a diagonal up and back. All right, so I'm gonna turn so that you can see my feet up and back on that diagonal. Again, really squeezing those buns. You're gonna pull that belly button in so that your hips are not rotating, right? You wanna keep your hips facing the same direction, straight ahead, big squeeze. You're gonna feel this working those buns again, and it's gonna kind of wrap around the side a little bit into that what I love to call the side butt, right? It kind of already. Very important stabilizer muscle that keeps our back healthy and our hips healthy so that we have less likelihood of back pain. All right, roll over and switch sides. All right, and that top leg is nice and straight. Squeeze in front of that thigh to lock that knee up and back with that foot. Big squeeze on that bum. Big squeeze, making it work, holding it at the top for a couple of seconds and then back down. I know it's starting to burn, that's the idea, right? That's how we turn these muscles on. We increase the communication between our brain and those muscles. Keep that belly button pulled in. All right, now we're rolling onto our back. We're bringing, bending those knees so our feet are flat on the floor as far in as they can go. Feet in line with those knees, knees in line with those hips. So we're gonna lift the hips up, big squeeze on that butt. We're gonna have those arms straight in front of us and we're gonna tip those hands to the left towards 11 o'clock on the on clock and then to the right to one o'clock and back down. So hips up and squeeze those cheeks. Again, with the belly button drawing in towards our spine, warming up that core, warming up those glutes even more. And don't forget that small tip, side to side. All right, and we're up to our feet. So we're standing up tall. We're gonna be on our one leg, on our right leg, lifting that left foot off the ground. We're gonna take that left hand, bend at the waist and reach that left hand towards that right foot. 
Now, you can either take your foot off the ground so you're balancing on a single leg, or you can use those toes almost as a kickstand, right? Just gently, lightly putting those toes on the floor to work that balance. <clears throat> and that looks beautiful. As you bend down, you're keeping that back nice and flat, rolling that belly button in. Every time you come up, you're getting a big squeeze on those glutes, right? Switching legs now. So left hand on the floor, right hand reaching down. Good, and so we're working that balance while we start to warm up those muscles even more. Hopefully those muscles are starting to get real, real uh, fired up, ready to work for our strength workout, right? Down, up, big squeeze. Practicing good deadlift form because we do have these in our workout today. So making sure that back stays nice and flat, right? Belly button in, beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go to a slight bend in those knees, almost like a quarter squat. And you're gonna take a small hop forward and land as quietly as you can, rolling from your heels to your toes. So you're kind of squeezing those toes up towards the ceiling. The reason why I ask you to land on those heels is because again, it forces those buttons to work just a little bit more. And by staying nice and low, they, you really start to feel it. And those look beautiful. Nice job. <clears throat> We're keeping that belly button in through every hop, trying to make sure those knees are in light right alignment. Beautiful. Last exercise of the warm up. We're going to bend at the waist, walk out into that plank position, hips up. You can come to your knees if you need to. We're going to do a push up and a row. Big squeeze on that elbow up towards the ceiling. So bend those elbows, chest drops towards the floor. Up, big squeeze on that hand towards your torso. So chest and big squeeze on the back. <clears throat> if you can, you do these on your toes in that full plank position, making sure that our belly button stays pulled in no matter what we're doing. All right, guys, get up, get those feet moving. Hopefully your buns are feeling warm or ready to work. Today's workout is a total body strength workout. We are working for 60 seconds with a 20 second break. Our first exercise is shoulders, a shoulder focus, I should say, but it's actually a deadlift with a row. So you're gonna be holding those weights right in front of you. Don't listen to that timer. All right, holding the weights right in front of you. You're gonna bend at the waist, keeping that back nice and flat, bending those knees so they stay over those toes. Stand up and then you're sliding the weights up your body. That looks perfect, Dan. All right, so it's a shoulder exercise because the weight that you pick is gonna be to work those shoulders, but I figure instead of just standing around, we might as well add in a deadlift, right? All right, so I'm gonna get our next timer going. Remember, we're one minute on, 20 seconds break, okay? And we're going four times through each of these exercises. As you go down, you want that nose pointed right towards the floor. We're gonna keep those wrists Nice and stiff in that upright row. We're going to squeeze that butt, have that belly button in, and that looks so perfect. Good. It's a lower paced workout today. You guys have taken my classes before. You know how much I love my cardio, but I also love to lift weights. All right. Great job. Down up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze those elbows towards the ceiling, always controlled motions. Beautiful, guys. Five seconds. That's enough time to get at least one more rep in. Perfect. All right, so 
20 seconds. I'm gonna switch up my weights. Our next exercise is a decline chest press. So we're gonna be in that glute bridge position, hips up, those weights in each hand with our palms facing our knees, and we're gonna punch those hands up towards the ceiling. So down and up, okay? Good controlled motions. You're squeezing those glutes. That belly button is pulling in. I don't want you moving crazy fast on this one. You should make sure that you have good controlled ranges of motion. You can, if you have a bench at home, you can go ahead and do these on a decline, like put your bench all the way down. I'm gonna show you what it would look like if you chose to use a band on this exercise. All right, keep going, keep that good form. If you have a band at home, go ahead and wrap it around that back. All right, hips are up in the same position and you're simply punching with that band towards the ceiling. All right. So our next exercise is a lunge. This is one, you can either hold two nice heavy weights in that hand, we're staying on the same side, so the right leg is gonna step back. We are gonna lower that knee, back knee towards the floor till we're at 90 degrees. We're gonna drive up through that front leg, stand up and squeeze. So back, making sure that second toe is pushing into the ground, 90 degrees, up and squeeze. And those look beautiful. Now you can do this with one heavy weight at your chest, right? Or this is the one, like I was suggesting earlier, if you have a book bag, like if you don't have heavy weights at home, you can fill a book bag with lots of water bottles or soup cans, whatever you have that has a little bit of weight to it and put that on your back, all right? Really important that that chest is up nice and tall. That core stays nice and tight, right? Nice control range of motion. Beautiful. All right. Now, if you have these kinds of quick change weights at home, you're gonna go a little bit lighter. We're gonna do a back exercise. Your palms are facing away from you. You're gonna bend over. The belly button's pulling in, that back is staying flat. You're gonna squeeze those elbows up towards the ceiling. And that is absolutely perfect. Now, if you have any back pain here, right? Because you're in this bent over position, you can either go to a supported lunge type position, right? A little bit of a taller chest, or you can come all the way down so that your hand is on the floor and you squeeze that weight up towards your body. All right, the key here is, is as you bend over, you pull that belly button in so the back is supported, right? Making sure that you squeeze those elbows up towards the ceiling, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good. Controlled motions, nice work. Now we're going back to that lunge. All right, Whew. my hands are burning. And we're gonna go with that left leg stepping back this time. All right, Whew. we're gonna roll those shoulder blades back, chest up tall, belly button pulled in, opposite leg down, up and squeeze. So think about making sure that when you step back, you keep everything in a nice straight line. Second toe driving into the floor, down, and then you're pushing that front heel through the floor to stand yourself up. Good. Big squeeze in those butt cheeks. Every time you stand up, squeeze those cheeks together. 
Now, if, if you'd like, you can lean that chest forward just a smidge. That gets a bigger stretch on that right leg that's forward. Working those glutes just a little bit more. Nice job. All right. Our recovery round is going to be that sideline leg raise that we did in the warm up. All right. So you get to lie down on the floor. Bottom leg is bent for stability. Belly button in. The top leg is squeezing nice and tight. You're lifting up and back. Big squeeze on the cheek, on those glutes that are on that top leg. Locking that thigh. If you want to take it up a notch, you go ahead and add a small band to the top of those knees if you have one. If you do not, it is not a concern. No big deal at all, right? Because you're really working you're squeezing, you're making it count. See how nice I am? I let you lie down on the floor while we work out. Make sure you squeeze those buns. Squeeze those cheeks together like you're trying to hold a dollar bill. Couple more seconds. Big squeeze up. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. All right. Roll over, we're switching sides. Ah. All right, this is our last um, exercise before we go right back into the beginning. All right, four seconds, deep breath, focus on good form, belly button in, left leg raises up and back a little bit, and then back down. Up and squeeze, making sure those hips are facing forward, right? You want to be feeling this in the butt, in the side of that cheek, not the front of your hip, all right? So really focus on squeezing up and back. Everybody wants a sexy side butt. I know that's your dream, right? But what everybody really does want is healthy lower back, Everybody wants to feel good. That's why we work out. So we're protecting ourselves from injury. Trust me. The, the healthier, the more balanced we can be. My top leg is shaking at this point. Woo. All right. Beautiful job, guys. We're back up on those feet. We're going right back to the beginning. The deadlift with the upright row. All right, so get yourself ready. Make sure that those toes are pointed straight ahead, right underneath those hips. Roll the shoulder blades back, beautiful. Bend it down into that deadlift. Stand up, squeeze the glutes, slide the weights up. And those look absolutely beautiful. As you go down, making sure that belly button stays in. Everybody knows that feeling you get down there at the bottom and your belly just wants to be like, whoop, right? You feel it release. Try to keep that belly button in. That's what supports our back, right? Down, up, and squeeze. As those weights are sliding up, we're making sure that we're squeezing those glutes. That belly button stays in for under 10 seconds. Woo! My shoulders are feeling it. Nice job, guys. All right. Going to that decline chest press. So in that glute bridge position, right? Hips up, belly button in. Glutes tight. Now we're punching those hands up towards the ceiling. Good control down. Squeeze them up. Focus on exhaling as you push those arms toward the ceiling. Squeeze those glutes. 
belly button in. <clears throat> 60 seconds with good controlled motions. You should be getting in eight to 12 repetitions. A great muscle building range of reps. No rushing. Focus on the burn. I know I am. Woo! My chest is screaming the last two repetitions. Should be tough, right? Oh my heavens. All right, get those legs ready. We're going to that lunge. Shake out the arms, all right? You can hold one heavy weight at that chest or you can hold both weights down by your sides. Remember, when you go to pick up your weights, you should be bending those knees and lifting that way, right? Hold the weights at your side. Big step back. Down with that knee. Back up. Step forward and squeeze. Now, if you have a very hard time, whether it's holding your balance in that lunge, or you're one of those people that step back, you can feel that heel gets all out of alignment, right? You can simply stand with those feet staggered, really focus on that second toe digging into the floor, and just go up and down, right? Down with that back knee, back up. You can still squeeze those glutes the same way. Stepping forward and backwards is a progression that we all work towards. Working that balance. Beautiful. All right. Change up those weights. You've got them. I'm actually going to show you what, what it would be done like. You have the band. We're going to that bent over row. So if you have that big band, you bend over. The palms are facing away from that body. Positions the same whether you have a band or those dumbbells. Squeeze those elbows towards the ceiling. You can see that I'm standing on the band, right? The shorter the band is, the harder you make it. And your back position looks absolutely fabulous, lady. Absolutely perfect. Very, very nice work. All right. Keep that belly button pulled in. Big squeeze on those elbows up towards the ceiling. Nice, slow control down. I love it. Our nose is pointed right towards the floor. Couple more seconds. Beautiful work, guys. Woo. All right. Get ready for another round of lunges. Gotta get those arms ready, right? Woo. Five seconds. All right, here we go. Stepping that other leg back. Down, up and squeeze. Belly button's always in. Try to keep good head alignment, looking straight ahead of you. Kind of tuck that chin in. So you feel like you're making yourself as tall as possible. Extending the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Down. Drive through the floor with that front leg. Big squeeze. Woo! My arms are screaming. My legs are screaming. We got 13 seconds, guys. Woo! Keep working. We got it. Push them to the finish together. Come on, guys. If you have that small band, go ahead and put it around those legs. Here we go. Lying down on our side. 
bottom knee bent, top knee locked straight. We're squeezing it up and back, keeping those hips in good alignment. Holding that top leg up. Big squeeze, hold it up there for a four count. There it is, Ann. I like it, and then back down. Again, it's not about how many reps, right? We wanna make each repetition quality, controlled, make that booty scream. After each of these, we're gonna be halfway through the workout. Beautiful, 10 more seconds, enough time to maybe do two more. Hold it up there, squeeze those glutes. Nice job. <clears throat> Get yourself a drink before we switch sides. All right. <sighs> okay, so. <clears throat> Get ready, here we go. Bend that bottom leg, top leg locked straight, making that heel go up and back, squeezing those buns. Feeling it both in the main part of our butt as well as that top side of our hip, making sure that belly button's pulled in, squeeze. Beautiful, guys. Like I said, this is meant to be a recovery. Catch your breath. Your heart rate's gonna come back down. That's okay, because we wanna be ready to give it our all. As soon as we go back in to that total body strength, five more seconds up and squeeze. Hold it there, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice job. All right, we're halfway through, right? Round number three. <clears throat> Get everything ready to go back into that deadlift with that upright row. All right, roll those shoulder blades back, feet hip width apart, we bend down and squeeze those glutes to stand back up, upright row. And that looks perfect. Down, belly button stays in, normal back position. I wanna see that back rounding. You don't wanna have any pinching, pulling or pain here. If it does cause you pain, go ahead and just switch to that upright row. Removing that deadlift. As we start to get tired here, right? Our form is gonna wanna slip because our muscles don't wanna work. You force them to work. Belly button in, squeeze those glutes, elbows up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, five more seconds, finish strong. Beautiful. All right, going to that deep line bench press. Right, our hips are up, we're working that chest. As we punch those, those weights towards the ceiling, think of it as a two count up and a two count down. Good control, elbows drop out to the side, big press up, squeezing that chest. Now, because our hips are up, you're gonna feel this work more in the chest than in the shoulders, all right? So you're gonna be able to lift a little bit more in this position than you normally would on a flat bench press. Just make sure that you're supporting that back by squeezing those glutes and that belly button in. Push it, guys. Make every repetition count. Beautiful work. Exhale one minute up. We got seven seconds. Nice job. Oh boy. Woo. 
Sometimes the hardest part is holding the heavy weights, right? Shake out those arms, getting ready to go into that lunge. So if you have those weights at home, this is where you'll be lifting the heaviest that you can because you're using those legs. So I'm stepping my right leg back, second toe down, bend that back knee, and drive through that left foot, stand up and squeeze. The toes should be pointed straight ahead the whole time. Belly button in. Keeping those shoulder blades squeezing up, down and back. Good tall chest, you guys look awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, and I like it. Nice control down, up, big squeeze on those glutes. Nice job, guys. Keep working. 15 seconds. That's only like three repetitions. Beautiful. Come on, let's finish strong. Oh my goodness, my hands. Woo! All right. Going to that wide grip row, to that bent over row, I mean. All right, palms are facing away, bending at those hips. Nice flat back. Woo. All right, squeeze those weights towards the ceiling. Nice controlled motions. Remember your modifications. You can always do these from that pen over position, hands are still right underneath the shoulders, knees are on the floor underneath those hips, toes are pushing back. All right, that belly button's still pulling in. Always an option, making sure that you're not doing this with pain and that your form isn't suffering, right? Exhale, as you pull those weights up and that looks absolutely beautiful four seconds nice work all right guys lunges last round this time we're stepping that left leg back Woo. shaking out those arms or just holding on to your weights because you have fabulous grip strength. You let me lend me some. All right, left leg down and back. Again, remember, if you feel that your knee not staying in line with those toes, either the back foot or the front foot, you take that step out, you stay in that staggered stance, and you just go up and down. You want to feel it a little bit more in those glutes. You can lean just a smidge forward. Turn to the side so you can see. Just hair forward. Down. Drive through that front leg. Stand up and squeeze. Good control. Come on, under 10 seconds. Almost there. I love it. Make those legs work. Nice work. All right. Sideline leg raise. For the recovery. If you have it, get that band right above those knees. Get a quick drink. All right. Bottom leg bent. Top leg locked out straight. Big squeeze on that leg up and pushing back. If you really want to, you can also do right? So you're going up and pushing that heel into the wall. Let me tell you, I assure you, it's very hard, and you're gonna really make those glutes burn. 
think summer buns, right? We got 10 more seconds. I want those glutes screaming, right? We're squeezing our cheeks, both our buns and our cheeks. Woo. Nice job, roll over, other side. You think this is a recovery until about round three when your buns are on fire, right? Last one before we go into that very, very last round, guys. We're almost there. Up and back. Squeeze those buns. Remember, you can use that wall, especially if you feel your hips rotating towards the ceiling. That's not what we want. You shouldn't be feeling this in the front of that hip. It should all be in the side of that hip and in those buns. Let's squeeze, guys. Up, squeeze, hold for a four count. Nice, slow back down. Great job, belly button in. I don't know about you guys, but I'm burning. We are well over halfway. Make every repetition count. I hope you've reached the point where you're getting a little bit shaky on that leg. I know I am. That's how I know it's been worked hard. Let's earn some booty burn. Woo! All right, you rock stars. One last round, one last round. All right. <clears throat> Seven more minutes to burn some calories, to work our muscles and start our week strong. Deadlift with the upright row. We're bending over, weights going down towards the floor. Stand up and squeeze those buns. Slide those weights up that chest. My buns are on fire, guys. I hope you're feeling it. Make sure that form stays good. Don't forget as you stand up, you're thrusting those hips forward, squeezing those glutes while squeezing that belly button. Beautiful, and as you reach that top range of motion, make sure that belly button stays in. Don't let that back arch. There it is. Nice twerk. Woo! I love it, I love it, I love it, guys. We're pushing to the finish. Every exercise, we're on the home stretch. Make it burn, make it count. <sighs> Think about how good and strong you're gonna feel. <laughs> nice work. We're going to that declined bench press. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but I'm burning today, I'm burning. All right, get down on the floor into that glute bridge position. Palms facing your knees. Squeeze those hips up towards the ceiling. Push those weights up as well. Belly button in to support the back. Down, punch it up. Squeeze. Make every repetition count. Beautiful. Almost there, guys. This is the last time you have to do it. So we're going to push and squeeze. 10 seconds, I'm burning. Come on, one more rep. Woo. Oh my heavens, all right. We're lunging. I'm gonna hold off, I'm picking up those weights till I absolutely have to. My arms are screaming. Shake it out, four seconds. We're going into that right leg lunge, so right leg back. Chest, big step back, second toe into that floor. Knee goes down, 90 degrees on those legs. That chest can come a hair forward. You want to work a little bit more glutes. We should be feeling this 
and that front leg as you push that heel into the floor to stand up. We're almost there, guys. We're halfway through. Last time we're lunging on this leg, so make it count. Embrace that burn. Think about how good you're gonna feel knowing you gave it your all. Come on, we got 10 seconds. Down, drive back up and squeeze. Time for one more rep. Nice job. All right. We're going into that last round for that back. That bent over row. Remember, we're squeezing that back. All right, weights up, palms facing away, back is flat, squeeze those elbows towards the ceiling. Try to keep that nose pointed straight towards the ground in front of you. Keeping that chin almost tucked like you're creating a double chin. The belly button's in. Think about being tall for the crown of your head. And that's absolutely perfect. Belly button in. Squeeze that back. Nice, slow, controlled repetitions. Come on, we're almost there. 10 seconds. Two more repetitions. Exhale and squeeze. Beautiful. Oh, my heavens. Woo. All right. Last round of lunges. Last time we have to hold those weights. Shake it out. Get yourself ready. All right. <clears throat> Left leg back, down, drive that right leg through the floor. I really don't care which leg you do, just as long as you're alternating between the rounds. Nice job, guys. Belly button in, drive through the front leg, stand up, squeeze those glutes. <sighs> Halfway through this last round of lunges, it's possible I could drop my weights. Woo! My arms are screaming. My buns are screaming. 15 seconds, guys. Come on. Oh, man. Five seconds. Come on, one more repetition. My grip strength is given out there at the end. I had to do. One rep without any weights. All right, sideline leg raises to the finish. If your buns weren't fired up yet, they should be. Here we go. Right leg bent at the bottom, left leg locked out, squeezing the thigh. Top foot up and back, hips straight ahead. Squeeze those buns. We have two more minutes of hard work. And then we're gonna stretch it out. We've all earned ourselves a nice, healthy, refueling recovery snack. Big squeeze on those buns. Hold that top position, four count. Love that burn in that booty. Come on guys, 10 seconds. We're almost there. I hope you can see how much I'm shaking this very last round. 20 seconds to breathe, get a drink and recover. Woo! May not seem like a big range of motion. It's not gonna get your heart rate real high, but whoo, it makes those booties burn. All right, roll over. Last round, get ready. 
Make sure that you're squeezing and giving everything you got, right? It's not a huge range of motion. Up and back, squeeze those butt cheeks together. Strength is about building those muscles. And we're gonna do it in a balanced way that's gonna make us feel stronger and healthier in our everyday lives. We're over halfway. I want that top leg working so hard it's shaking. Squeeze those cheeks together. Make it firm. We're almost there, guys. Woo! Keep squeezing 10 seconds. Couple more repetitions. Last one, hold it up there and squeeze. Hold, 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 give it your all. Woo! All right, that was it. All right, we're gonna stay low and stretch it out. All right, we'll start off by stretching the back and the chest. So we're gonna come onto those knees. We're gonna take those arms up over that head and we're gonna drop those hips back over those legs. That doesn't mean that our, hip, our hips sit down on our calves, right? They're just leaning back over our legs, pushing our chest into the floor. Big stretch through our back. If you want, you can reach your right hand and put it on top of your left. Get a big stretch down that right side. Ooh, it feels good. Hold it until you no longer feel that that intense stretch. Then you can put your right hand back where it was originally, left hand on top of it, get that big stretch through that left side. Good, pushing that chest towards the floor or keeping that belly button pulled in. Big stretch along the back side of your body. Good, now we're gonna reach our arms up out to the side. So our elbows are gonna be bent a little bit, just like that. And we're gonna go the same position, except our arms are wider now, right? So elbows are bent. You're just pushing that chest towards the floor. Now that, that stretch becomes a chest stretch, right? You can do these also up against a wall, like a corner of a door jam, pushing that forearm down to that elbow into the door jam and pushing it away, you're gonna get a big stretch to that chest. Just have to hold it on both sides then. I know it feels so good. <sighs> nice work, come up to those knees. We're gonna step one leg forward. <clears throat> so we're hitting that lunge position. We're gonna keep that chest up nice and tall. All you're gonna do is squeeze those buns, right? Squeeze those hips under. So keeping that belly button in, nice tall chest. You should feel this down the front of that hip. If you need to add a little bit more stretch, you can simply reach up towards the ceiling while keeping that belly button pulled in tight, squeezing those glutes just like we did through the entire workout. Big stretch down the front of that hip. Now flip those toes over so that they go under. Now you're gonna feel that stretch down the front of the hip and down the front of that thigh. Right through that quadricep muscle. Nice tall chest. All you're doing is squeezing those buns. Of course, your buns are probably screaming at this point, but you know, that's neither here nor there, <laughs> right? Always looking for a little extra butt squeeze, right? We're switching sides now. Starting off with those toes under, right? Squeezing that left butt cheek, reaching that left arm towards the ceiling. Nice tall chest, belly button pulled in. So you're not getting any kind of arch in that back, right? Back stays nice and flat. All we're doing is tucking those hips. So that makes it that nice big stretch down the front of that hip. Then when you flip over those toes, you get the same kind of stretch. All you're adding in now is going down the front of that thigh. <sighs> nice job, guys. Holding it. 
Beautiful. All right, we're gonna bring both of those feet forward. We're gonna lie down on our back. We're gonna take that right foot and we're gonna put that heel right on top of our knee. This just gives us something to like steady our, our leg. So that right knee is now gonna be kind of turned in almost towards the opposite shoulder. We're gonna take that left hand and pull that knee in while keeping that heel on that leg. So hopefully you feel a nice big stretch from through that butt, right? And through that hip, kind of squeezing that belly button towards the floor. <clears throat> now, if you don't quite feel this one, you can always bring a foot up onto the wall and then cross that leg over. And then you can either push that hip, that knee away from you or pull in. Everybody's a little bit different in this muscle and how it pulls and how it needs to be stretched. The biggest thing is I want that other leg at 90 degrees. So up against the wall is ideal, up against the couch, whatever you have. As long as you're feeling the stretch, if you're feeling it down on the floor, that's super, right? All right, All right switch legs. Left leg, right leg straight, left heel on top of that right knee and then pulling that leg towards you with that right hand. And again, you can either put that left leg up on the, on the wall, or I'm sorry, that right leg up on the wall and cross that ankle at the, the left, the right knee. S stretching that butt. Nice job, guys. All right. And that's it guys. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you felt like you got a great total body strength workout. Make sure you go, go eat healthy snack, anything that's going to refuel and help those muscles recover. Eating 25 grams of protein after a workout is going to help heal those muscles and that helps reduce soreness, which is absolutely fabulous. All right, 25 grams of protein in every meal goes a very, very long way. Makes you feel fuller longer and helps your body recover. Healthy carbohydrates. Those are those leafy green vegetables and fruits. My hair looks like an Afro. It's fabulous. Hey, I know we got a good workout in, all right, guys? Great job today. Lots of water. Fabulous work.